Hey everybody, it's Mike DeShazer here at Proof. I wanted to share with you guys a new tool for comparing cryptocurrencies. Recently, we uh, gave some funds to our new team members to invest in cryptocurrencies. And so we wanted to make a tool to make it easy for them to compare prices, indexes, and other things. So I'm gonna share this quick video on how to use it, and I hope you find it useful. Welcome to Proof's Crypto Compare feature. This is a fun project that we put together for our team to analyze cryptocurrencies since we're in the blockchain space. Why not? So here's how it works. You scroll down and what you'll see is a bunch of cryptocurrencies and you'll see a bunch of um, options. Let me refresh because I already have some settings that I put in from before. So when you first come in, you'll actually see it load up and you'll see this. So this looks like a bunch of gibberish, right? Like what, what is this all about? So let me explain how this works. So up here, you'll find currencies. Each currency has a color code and you can find that in the legend here. All right, so blue is Bitcoin, green is Ethereum, red is Ripple. If I change it from Ethereum to, for example, Emmercoin, I'll see it change and Emmercoin now will be green. So then you have the options down here. So here we have indexes or prices. So I can actually pull all the prices for each one of these cryptocurrencies, which is really hard to, to correlate because the prices are all so different that the chart will be really funky. So uh, I wouldn't really use this one, but if you're really interested in looking at price, as you can see, Emmercoin is like three cents. Bitcoin is thousands of dollars. So they're so different that the chart comes out really, really weird. We'll work on improving that later, but if you want to use prices, you need to find things that have similar prices for it to come out any way in a readable fashion. So indexes are cool because you indexes are basically important for daily, weekly, or hourly. So for example, uh, an index has a base on this website of 100. So I'm gonna zoom in here. You can just drag to zoom over any particular area, click reset zoom to go back to where you started. So it's really easy to kind of jump from one place to another place uh, in different periods of time. So if you're looking for daily, if you're daily, person. Now, I'm not saying that there's any correlation between cryptocurrencies, but this kind of just lays it out for you to see for yourself if there is. Maybe you'll find a pattern that no one else has discovered. Maybe you won't. So when you look at this, the base is 100. That means that literally no change. And when you have it go like, for example, up to here, that's a 75% change. So there was a really big jump in price of Emmercoin uh, uh, on this date, which was July 1st. So between uh, June 29th and July 1st, somewhere in between there, something big happened. And then you can see here uh, that, you know, between the July 21st and uh, July 23rd, there was a, there was a something happened. And so you can kind of jump in and, and see, you can switch to hourly. And this is only is ap applicable uh, for the last three months because we've only been collecting hourly data for the last, uh, last few months for all the cryptocurrencies. So you can go in here and this is actually an hourly change. So you can see this jumped up like 5%, then jumped down 5%. So you can see if you're trying to trade really fast and see what the differences are, you can see that there. Um, and then you have weekly um, and you can, you can see the weekly percentage changes uh, represented as indexes. Uh, again, if it goes up to 75, that's a 75% change. And then, and then the next week it went to there. So you can kind of see that. And it's not a perfect thing. You know, we, we have a lot of things to kind of where the data is correct. Um, but, you know, as I saw a second ago, one of the daily was actually by, by daily, but that'll probably get fixed soon. Um, so yeah, that's essentially how you use this. And, you know, one might say, hey, look at this. Uh, when this one rises, this one rises later. Oh, wow, look, this one rose, this one rose a few weeks later. I, you know, I'm not, you know, gonna pretend to, 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 to try to interpret this stuff. Um, you know, you, you might need to run algorithms and other things, um, and, and other tools are better at, at analyzing. This is kind of for the just lay person, or even if a, a sophisticated investor just wants to look at all this stuff and see how correlated or uncorrelated it is, um, you can just kind of overlay, you know, Melon uh, with Bitcoin and Ripple and then kind of see over time how they how they changed or how they were reflective. Like for example here, it really looks like these two are somewhat related maybe. Um, and then over here, you can see kind of an, an uptrend over a few days. 
Um, and so that's pretty much how that works. And we hope you find it useful. Please leave feedback. This isn't our core feature. This is just something that we made internally for some of our team members who decided they wanted to kind of play around and, and invest. We wanted to give them at least an objective view on the different cryptocurrencies. So hope it is useful for other people too, maybe.